Good day, learners. Like other organisms, plants can also reproduce using different ways. In the previous lesson, you learned about how plants undergo sexual reproduction. At this point, you will recognize other means of plant reproduction, specifically through vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation is an asexual reproduction in plants using different parts like stem, roots, and leaves to produce new plants. Asexual reproduction does not involve the use of seeds to propagate. This lesson will give you an understanding on the different modes of reproduction among flowering and non-flowering plants. This will help you identify the different parts that can be used to produce new plants aside from seeds. The previous lesson provides you an understanding about flowers as reproductive organ of fruit-bearing plants to produce seeds to grow new plants. In general, plants are classified into two major groups, flowering and non-flowering plants. Flowering plants are those that have an obvious flower as accessory organ. In botany, they are called as angiosperms. Plants that belong to angiosperm family reproduce sexually by means of their flowers. The presence of flowers may give clue that the plant produces seeds that mature within the fruits. There are two groups of angiosperms, dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous plants. Dicotyledonous plants are plants with knitted veins and with two cotyledons in its embryo. Some examples of dicotyledonous plants are beans, peas, and daisies. While monocotyledonous plants are plants with an embryo that bears a single cotyledon. Some examples of monocotyledonous plants are bamboos, bananas, and lilies. Flowers are important for plants to bear fruits and produce seeds. However, there are also plants that do not use flowers for reproduction. These plants are called non-flowering plants. There are non-flowering plants that do not produce flowers and seeds. There are plants that produce spores. There are plants where seeds are not developed inside the parts of the flowers. Non-flowering plants include mosses, liverworts, hornworts, lycophytes, and ferns, and they are produced by spores. Some non-flowering plants, called gymnosperms or conifers, still produce seeds. Here are some of the examples of flowering and non-flowering plants.
That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye!